Hello and welcome to Dax for Humans. My name is Greg Deckler and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the second step in how to think in Dax. The first step in the last video I demonstrated that Dax really thinks in terms of tables. So similar to how Excel thinks in terms of cells and cell ranges, the base way that Dax thinks about the universe is about tables of data. And I've also shown you in previous videos how you can use things like slicers to filter other visuals and different uh, DAX measures in that to return, uh, to filter different visuals on the screen. So we're gonna combine these two concepts in today's video because DAX actually has a way to filter tables built right into DAX. And the way that's done is called the filter function. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a, so this is our base table that we have. Now if I wanted to create a new table that only had certain rows within this table, then I can bring this up and I can say filter table and then I can specify something to filter. In this case, I want to filter on the item equals banana. I close that, so there's my filter function. If I hit return, now I only have the banana rows from my table. If I want to do pickle, If I can spell it right, then I only have the pickle rows from my table. If I want both, I can do things like item equals pickle or, which is double pipe character, item equals banana. And now I have pickle and banana rows in my table. Or I can do even things that like not equal to pickle and now I have bananas and grapefruits in my table so that's it for this video that's how you can use DAX to filter tables we'll be taking a look next at the next step X aggregators in the next upcoming video that but that's all for now have a good day